Let's just get down to the corner. Let's get down to the corner. Let's turn this all the way up, all the way. Hi, YouTube. Bienvenidos. A YouTube. Got to say hello to YouTube. They will be watching this later. They will be looking at you going, man, I wish I was there. Seb, thanks for the year. Wow. One year. <laughs> Miraculously, we he came from eight points back with a match in hand with like six matches to go to win the league over Lafnitz Amstetten and somehow Grodzer ended up finishing fourth, which is just horribly embarrassing. Three but we won the league. Walk into a bar. So guys, uh, we did win it on the last day. Very intense drama. And if you weren't with us when that happened, maybe you didn't notice that we actually got a significant transfer budget of 1.1 million with a significant increase to our wage budget as well. And that means it is time to look at the fact that the vast majority of our entire team, their contracts Dad expire of your brand right now. American is at this point. Chad, I want honest opinions on this. Who are we bringing back? Because it's the first order of business. And it's complicated, right? This is complicated. Because we don't know what level we're going to be improve we're going to be able to improve the team to. We already re-signed Schmidt. Oliveira's a must. I agree. You guys are right. Jao Oliveira, who just had a monster season at 23 years old, definitely should uh should be coming back. That's what I thought. Get schooled. Two-year contract to Jao Oliveira to be a part of the team into the future. Got it. Uh, Dallas Sandro's under contract through what next year. What did the ancient Greeks use to find out the length of their crops? Demeter. Dude, this, dude, this guy is a freaking dream boat. Look at this. Look at, look, look at Pooch. It's like a, he's like a J. Crew model. There's no way that this guy looks like one of my regens, one of the AI generated faces. There's no way he's real. He's a Tiago Noose regen. For real, dude. I'm following him. Onward and upward. The pooch. But do we actually re-sign him? At least we got to the negotiation phase. Cool, he doesn't want a lot of money. But he is going to get moody about... He's going to get moody about it pretty quickly. Mr. Paul Cerny is not one to wait around. All right, so we've got offers out to Pooch. We've got offers out to Jao Oliveira. The next person we talked about was Christian Bubalovic, just that, that corner presence. I honestly don't know if we should sign Christian Bubalovic. He doesn't even want to re-sign, so it doesn't matter. He's going to explore options at the end of his contract. And we've got Oleksandr Miganov. I feel like we want to re-sign Oleksandr Miganov. He's actually a fuego left wing back. About to be a top flight. You're about to have to play against frickin' Salzburg. And he's going to be running around out there like, what's going on? All right, Miganov has the offer. Jerry Mbakogu. Often frustrating, but also gifted 12 goals, five assists in 22 matches and an average 7.37. Very active player. No, I, I actually might. He's going to take less money than, than it took to get him to this club, I swear. Winter is coming. Already. If you're feeling chilly, try sitting in the corners of your room. There we They're go. usually 90 degrees. I would battle to keep David Unger around. He does his job. He does his job. Can I make an offer to uh, extend his loan contract? I'll pay you $300. This is this is the art of negotiating. I'll accidentally pay you $3,000. Fine. I, I just want the guy around. I, we, we, you know, I want the guy around, David Unger. We've offered for Ungar. We've offered Imbakogu, Miganov, and Oliveira. We're gonna have to sign basically a whole new team. Solomon Islands and Henderson Eels legend Raphael is in the game and I have signed him in my name save. And he has five star potential. Might want to have a look at him. Raphael Leao is in the game? Bruh. Bruh. I can't, I can't remember how to spell it. Hold on. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. No, it's not the actual country, you fool. National team. You fool. Run, you fools. Lea, Raphael, Lea. Okay. 
Solomon Island legend Raphael AI. How much they paying him? Nothing. Can we approach to sign? Yes. He needs 41,000 a year to get a work permit. Send it! We won 19 of our 30 games. That's what it's all about. Uh, it was a jubilant season for Floridsdorfer, who rose up the table early in the campaign, positioned themselves for a title challenge, and were crowned champions against the odds. Love that. Uh, Floridsdorfer! Big wins in the FA Cup, Austrian First Division, yay. Oh, goal of the season. I would agree with this. I remember this goal. Can we go watch it? This was the goal of the season, ladies and gentlemen, from Alan Cruz, who hurt his hip and admit... It's a good hit. It's probably not like the... It's not the best goal you'll ever see in the game. But it is a really good hit. From a guy we really missed... Oh. From a guy we really missed down the stretch of the season. And we were looking forward to getting him back next year. The finances, big old cash money coming in. Competition prize money, nearly $2 million. We sold almost 400 jerseys. Ha <laughs> ha! Love it. Uh, current, oh yes. We've upped our club reputation. How we lined up. Oliveira and Bakogu, Schmidt, Ungar, and Felber because of all the injuries. Basirovich, Miganov, Pooch, Piri, Bubilovich. Yep. Player of the season for the fans was Besarovic. Young player was Oliveira. Signing of the season was Bruno Piri, which, of course, we did on deadline day. Cruz won goal of the season. Top scorer was Oliveira. Sister Besarovic. Most man of the match awards, Besarovic. And the highest rating, Mirnas Besarovic. Elias Felber actually had the most passes completed per 90, which is weird and makes me uncomfortable. We broke a lot of club records, most league goals by a player, most goals by a player, most goals by a player in a match, which was the Imbakogu hat trick. Uh, most assists by a player in a season, most shutouts, which 14 for Gutelbauer. Um, Oliveira also won five man of the match awards. Worst discipline, David Unger getting four yellows and a red. D'Alessandro was the oldest player in club history at 41 years old in 34 days. Oof. Oliveira scored a goal in 53 seconds, and Basirovich is the oldest goal scorer at 32 years, 313 days. Love that! All right, we're through our end of the season stuff. We're ready to rock and roll. 31-year-old Liechtensteiner Marcel Buchel. Uh, He's got it going on. Leading player for most first division sides. See, I'd be willing to wager this guy can contribute at the next level as well. Let's compare him to Cruz. Yeah, see, he's just better than Alan Cruz in a lot of ways. Yeah, see, he's better than Martin Rosner, too. Marcel Bucher. This guy is so balanced. Such a good feel for the game. He can do so many different things. He takes long shots regularly, and he can hit them pretty well. He's got good technique in 12 long shots. Dude, this is, he's just a huge improvement to the team. I think you sign him on a one- or two-year deal. Not to mention he's got TikToker hair. Which, you know, huge deal. Very, very attractive to us. Improve the coaching team. What do I look like? Money bags? That's all he wants? The estimated salary was like four times that. Oh my, are you serious? He wants a one-year deal on that. This is like my dream. He's going to make as much as Jerry and Bakogu. That's unbelievable. Get him in yesterday. Oh, dude, Rasner. We didn't offer Rasner a new contract. Martin Rasner. Considering, uh, well, squad player, please. Thank you. Nah, fam. Nah, fam. Absolute nah. Oh, dude. Okay, cool. Oh, to kill you did it with a tier two. Dude, oh my. Announce Evo Gerbich. Leave me alone. I, I don't want. I don't want to think about Evo Gerbich. Did you really look at me in this state and go, "Yes, he wants to think about Evo Gerbich right now"? No. Jamal Blackman, I would like for you to be our goalkeeper this year. We've had you on trial. We know your quality. It doesn't even sound like you want to negotiate at all. It doesn't even look like you want to negotiate. Z, prediction right. for Team USA in the Qatar World Cup. And no, dang it. 
Marcel Buchel has signed with Bastia. Uh, Jamal Blackman, ladies and gentlemen, we've made a big signing at the goalkeeper position. Jamal Blackman is here. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Andres D'Alessandro has retired at the age of 41 after contributing for a season. He is a five-star potential player hiding in the Solomon Islands he, at the level that our club is at right now, which obviously is going to change dramatically. Uh, but he's very balanced. And he's got, he's decent at everything at the level. He's got to, you know, his first step is hopefully going to be where he improves, get up to 14s, 15s, the acceleration and pace. But that's pretty good for a guy that we literally just signed for the bare minimum work permit contract of 41 and a half thousand. We live with that. Raphael Lai, welcome. And then Jamal Blackman, he'd been on trial with us forever. We already know what he looks like. All uh, right, we've got, how many players do we, I want you guys to remember this moment. How many players do we have at the entire club? We have four, oh no, you're a first team player. Uh, we have three and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have 10 players in the youth team and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have 23 players at the entire club at all three levels. And you were here when we were at that point. We have no idea what the future holds, but that is our entire future. We have 13 first team players. 13 first team players. These three guys were just waiting for their contracts to expire. He would get 286,000 a year with heavy bonuses. We only have to pay 20,000 for the right to talk to him. Overall impact on the transfer budget, 77,000 for Jordan Graham. And when we look at our finances, I mean, we've got so much daylight in our wage budget. It's not even funny, but is this guy somebody that can come in and be a star player for us? We've already double delayed it. So it is now or not for Jordan Graham. This one is to see like what Schmidt was capable of. See, the thing about Graham too is he's got a really nice crossing game. That's where Schmidt lets it down. Schmidt's not nearly as good of a passer as, as Jordan Graham. Schmidt does, however, have a very comparable level of overall athleticism with Jordan Graham. And Schmidt does make very good decisions. Chat, I think I'm going to do it. I know a lot of you do not want me to sign this guy. I do not think that I'm seeing somebody that would be a better option to improve the team on that outside than Jordan Graham. Oh. You know, I'm going to I'm going to give you guys a press conference answer. Right? I'm going to give you guys a press conference answer that you hear at Football Manager all the time. I would trust you guys to have faith in the management of this club that we are going to deliver what we have promised to the fans. I trust you guys to have faith that we're going to deliver what we promised to the fans. Okay. We're going to deliver. And we definitely didn't spend it on this gold chain. Trust the process. So we're signing Jordan Graham. We just signed Jordan Graham. And uh, Jordan's actually here right now to be introduced to the club. Jordan Graham is here. Mr. Balance. Athleticism. Facilitation. Jordan Graham.